Good morning, folks. I'm playing Crooked Man. Super spooky, scary RPG horror game. Makes you scream, makes you cry. Maybe even wet your pants a little bit. Just a little bit, though. It's not that scary where you you would soil your the entirety of your britches. Just just a portion, small portion of your pants might get wet, but that's okay. Um, I want to show you a cool trick. I learned a cool trick. Check it out. Whoa, I'm moving faster. No, it's just I can make I can make the game run worse. <laughs> That's the trick. <laughs> I can make it look look gross and disgusting. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do. I never remember what I'm supposed to be doing. I'll figure it out though. There's a lady. Oh yeah, there's a lady. I was talking to a lady and then what happened? Was she almost Oh yeah, she almost fell into like a pit. There's a pit and she fell in, she almost fell in there, but I saved her because I'm so awesome and cool. Um, can I leave? Oh, <gasps> maybe I could leave. Dang it. Crap on a butthole. Maybe go back in here. You go back in the spooky basement. The basement door is open. Wait, no, that's not his voice. The basement door is open. Go in there, man. Go in there again. See what happens. <laughs> you need my lighter again? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No spooky man. <gasps> but there's a thing. A bronze key. I wonder if it's just actually... If they call it bronze because it's actually made of bronze. Or if it just looks like it's made of bronze. Because sometimes they do that. They make things look like other things. But they're not actually the thing. You know what I'm saying? Look at this key. Where is it? Oh, it's bra- Is it- Oh, I got a brass key? And I got a bronze key. Ring. Guess it's time to jiggle every single doorknob again. <gasps> Whoa, it's a bar. Wine casks. Oh, they're empty. Well, it said mostly empty, so maybe there's something left in there. Empty, they're all empty. Okay, well, why don't you take one of those? Brandy, it's got tons of alcohol in it. I might just catch fire if I drank this. You're funny, you're a funny guy. Oh, you hear that? I cracked my wrist knuckle. The knuckle on my wrist. A glass. Actually, it's crystal. What is this? Book? A journal seemingly written by a staff member. The last page is rambling and sloppily written. Okay, we'll read it. A toast to our owner who left his employees in night. Sorry. We'll drink all the beer we've got. Hell, it's the only good thing here. Being out of a job's no good, but at least we don't have to see his mug no more. We were so sick of that egghead always trying to flaunt his intelligence. Installing weird stuff for the basement door. Having a number lock on the food storage. All his silly crap made the place impossible to run. Plus the passcode was this thing with the book, which he changed up every month. What the hell do you do if you forget? Maybe it's good for him, but sure as hell not us. Ah, uh, whatever. Once we're done with the booze, we're out of here. A toast to our bright futures. Well, how very optimistic. The door to the food stores is at the far end of the first floor, right? A passcode on food is pretty absurd. It's not that absurd. God protect your food, man. Okay. So, we now know there's a passcode on the food door. And that that door is a food door. It leads to food. I kind of like food. Let's go check it out. Where am I going, dude? What the frick, man? Just go to the right place. Where am I going? It's not that way. It's got to be this way. Yeah, this food door. Well, crap. Butt on a butthole, bro. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry for my yawns. I should have had coffee this morning, but I didn't. I'm trying to stay away from coffee, though, but, you know, it would help just to get good sleep. 
but I kind of stayed up late last night. I was watching The Croods. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. So I think what you had to do is you had to go touch that chalkboard and then you had to come here. Yes. That's kind of weird though, because I already read that chalkboard before, I think. So to trigger this, you had to go back and just happen upon the chalkboard. And then come here and just happen upon this bookshelf. I mean, games used to be kind of tough like that, you know, back in the, you know, the Space Quest or Leisure Suit Larry days. That you didn't get any hints, really. You just kind of had to figure it out. Um, I just didn't want this to take too long. The blackboard in the owner's room said, The strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It'd be on this shelf, right? Eh, ah, here we go. Whoa. The story of the door. Kind of weird. Ominous. I'm reading like I'm skimming through it. Okay, well, um, I've had enough. I gotta, I gotta pause. I gotta pause right now. I'll come back, finish this up. See you around. Goodbye.